Hey besties, I'm Gabby and today I'm going to recommend you books that I think you should read this fall. For today's video, I'm going to focus on books that are going to give you all the cozy vibes, all those fussy and warm feelings that we want to feel during the fall season. I will also be making a video focusing on creepy books that I think you should also read this fall. So get out your phone, get on the Goodreads app and write these down. I've kind of sectioned off this video into different categories. First, I'm going to begin with a few mystery slash gothic mystery that I found super cozy when I read them. So that's why I decided to include them in this video. I also want to recommend you some cozy mysteries because duh, they're perfect for the season. I also have some light fantasy, speculative type of books that I want to recommend you guys. With that out of the way, let's begin. And for this category, I have The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. This book I really enjoyed. It's a bit of a long one, but I think that if you stick with it, especially through the first like 50 or 100 pages, then you're really in for a ride and I think you really are going to enjoy it. As far as genres, this is a bit of a mix. I would say it belongs in the mystery genre, but it could also be historical fiction and it could also be light fantasy, I think. It does involve somewhat fantastical events. This is about a woman named Evelyn Hardcastle. Her parents are throwing a big party and at this party, at I think exactly 12 o'clock she's going to be murdered. The book focuses on a man named Aiden and as the book begins this is all we know about this man and slowly things start to get revealed. This Aiden person will inhabit the body of eight guests at this party. He has a date in each of these people's body and basically he has to figure out who murdered Evelyn Hardcastle. If he cannot do this, then there will be great consequences for him. I always recommend this book, but I always find it kind of complicated to explain the plot. It's not an easy sell, I think. I mean, it will definitely confuse you at points. But like I said before, it is totally worth your time. And it's a book that I just think you can read by the fire or with a blanket or when it's raining and it's totally moody and in my mind it just fits the fall season so well so yeah definitely let me know if you pick this up what did you think about it if you have read it already did you like it i would love to know down in the comments the next book i want to recommend you guys is also in the mystery genre and this is a classic but please bear with me that book is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. I read this last year shortly before the Netflix adaptation came out and I just loved it. I loved it so much. I'm not big on reading classics so I went into this one a little bit apprehensive but I ended up enjoying it so much. This packs a lot like it read to me like a mystery then at times like a thriller and all throughout the story it's just very suspenseful and very atmospheric this is about a woman who actually has no name all we know about her is that she is orphaned when the book begins she is working with this other lady whose name i can't remember right now they are at the south of france i think and it's at this hotel where this woman meets Maxim de Winter who is a very well-known guy in society. They strike up a conversation, they begin to form a friendship and soon Maxim is asking this girl if she wants to marry him. They do have like a big age gap I think which in the movie it was not very noticeable. I think the actors that they picked to play the roles don't really have that big of an age gap but in the book they do and so this unnamed main character goes to live at this guy's like enormous mansion i think it's called manderley and there she meets the ghost of rebecca 
who is Maxim's late wife. I just believed that Rebecca got drowned, but you know, that's gonna be the mystery that I was talking to you guys about. Maybe something else happened to this woman. I'm sure I'm not making this book any justice with the way I'm describing it, but trust me, you guys, this is the perfect book to read during the fall you are not going to regret it now we're gonna go into the cozy mysteries and the first one i'm going to recommend i read very recently in my reading three cozy mysteries reading vlog and it is witch hunt by kate conti this is a book that was very light-hearted it was funny it was very entertaining it gives me the fall vibes because it is about a witch her name is violet when the book begins she doesn't know she's a witch she runs a crystal shop and she's very like spiritual and in tune with herself but then violet's long lost mother comes back and she reveals that violet is actually a witch and then the cozy mystery part ensues in that a woman is found murdered and the police believes that maybe violet has something to do with her death since the last time a lot of people saw this woman it was at a coffee shop while she was having words with violet so yeah there's a lot of things going on in this book but i just found the story very charming the next cozy mystery i have here is finley donovan is killing it by el cosimano and this is one that i read at the beginning of this year and really enjoyed i think the sequel to this is coming out early 2022 and i've already been sent an arc of this so i'm very excited to get to that one so this cozy mystery is about a woman named um i don't know why i had to look for her name when it's on the title this is about finley donovan she is 30 something she has two kids she has recently divorced and she's having kind of like a tough time paying the bills she is a writer but lately she just hasn't been able to write anything at the beginning of the book she goes to meet her agent at a panera i think and they are talking about finley's latest book and a woman overhears and thinks that finley is actually talking about herself so this woman ends up believing that finley is a killer for hire and she ends up hiring finley to kill her husband a lot of miscommunication a lot of mistakes happen and things just sort of snowball out of control finley ends up wanting to investigate why this woman wants to kill her husband and because she got curious she ends up in a position that she's gonna have a hard time getting out of we have uh another character named Beto who is the girl who babysits Finley's children and they actually end up forming like a team of sorts their dynamic is just very fun so I think with Cozy Mysteries it's like the perfect time to read them is the fall and then I love the blend of a mystery but with some light-hearted humor and I have another one that I also read for a uh, for a reading vlog recently and it is dial a for aunties in that vlog i mentioned that this is more romance than cozy mystery but it does have a mystery subplot again as with finley donovan we have a lot of miscommunication going on and things end up getting out of control i'm gonna go ahead and link the vlog where i talk about this one in depth because i really go into it about what the story is and why i liked it so much i'm gonna go ahead and leave the link down below or up here if you want to check that out but yes definitely this is a great blend of romance and mystery and comedy i really loved this cast of characters this is also getting a sequel i think next year so i'm very excited for that one now we've gotten to the books that are light fantasy slash speculative this is a genre that i really like to read during the fall time like i have said so many times in my channel before i really like books that are grounded in a contemporary setting and reality and then maybe have some element of fantasy so this is what we have with these books i don't dabble into the genre often but I have been able to find some books that I just really love within this subgenre. We're gonna start with one that I'm sure 
you've already seen around if you're on TikTok because this book is like super popular on there and it is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig and I read this last year during the fall and I just fell in love this was such a beautiful eye-opening story one of those that really makes you go after your dreams and really do what it is that you want to do like not just exist but actually live do you love how philosophical i'm getting but anyway this is about a woman named nora i think yeah and this is about nora who tries to end her own life but before she actually dies she goes to the midnight library and there she meets her favorite librarian back from high school and she proceeds to tell nora that in the midnight library she is able to kind of go back and live many different versions of her life like every book in the library represents a different version of Nora's life if she had made a different decision these decisions are not even that big sometimes it was just something super small that could have changed the course of her whole life and so we see her um, throughout this book trying on different lives, different selves different people that she had the potential to be could have been in another life it's gonna hit you in the feels i really enjoyed this one it is also super short so i think you know this makes the perfect fall read um let me know if you have already read this what did you think about it the next one i have here is watch over me by nina lacour i recently read this i think last month and this is about a girl named mila she has aged out of the foster care system so she has to leave the place where she was living and find a new place to live so she ends up at this farm with this family that employ um, other kids like her that are no longer able to stay with their foster families she goes there to teach so when she gets to this farm she has to confront the ghosts of her past guilt over something that happened in her past is really manifesting once again when she gets to this farm nina lacour's writing is just very lyrical um it's not hard to read at all because sometimes i find that with books that are very beautifully written it's a little bit hard to get into them like look past all the flowery language but not with this one the atmosphere here is very haunting this farm where mila goes to live is in the middle of nowhere there's no cell reception they live in like these little cabins that are just down to like the bare necessities very like lonely i mean it's just them at this place i think the closest uh town is like 40 miles away and the ocean is nearby it's described as always being very foggy and cloudy so you know that is just the type of atmosphere the type of moodiness that i want for my books during the fall so my camera decided to run out of battery just out of blue and i don't have time to wait around until it's fully charged again so i'm just gonna finish off this video more like vlog style thank you guys for joining me for this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up share with your friends and subscribe to my channel so that you can be in the know when new videos are coming like i said at the beginning i'm also going to be doing a video talking about creepy books that i think you should read this fall season probably a lot of mystery thriller suspense maybe even a little horror so keep uh, posted for that if you want to know updates of when i'll be uploading content since i don't have access to the community tab on youtube you can go ahead and follow me on instagram that is where i post most of the updates that i have for this channel so i'm gonna leave the link down below down in the description bar you can also find ways to support this channel if you wish to do so, I would certainly appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much for spending this time with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.